right, another important aspect of financial maps is two things we call the markup and the margin. Okay, and this is basically just a way as of expressing for businesses to express profit as a percentage of cost price or selling price. Okay, so just in case you're not familiar with these terms, if your shop selling items, okay, the items you buy them in at is called the cost price. So if you were buying them from a wholesaler, you buy them in at this cost price and then you sell them to the customer at this selling price. Okay, and the selling price has to be greater than the cost price in order for you to make a profit. Okay, and profit is basically the difference between the cost price and the selling price. Okay, so if I was to rearrange this bottom equation here and say selling price minus cost price, that would equal the profit. Okay, I wrote it this way for the purpose of these and I'll show you that in the second example. Okay, so we've got two of them. The markup, so this is a profit as a percentage of the cost price and we write it using this formula. So markup and margins are always expressed as percentages like that. Okay, and it's the profit over the cost price and then we multiply by 100 to put it in a percentage form, right? Same with the margin. So the margin is profit as a percentage of the selling price. So margin is profit over selling price times 100. And again, that 100 is there to turn this into a percent because the margin is it and the markup are expressed as percentages. Okay, now it can be very easy to confuse those, um, just because just because they sound quite similar. So, like to remember which formula is for the markup and which formula is for the margin. So, what I always think of is margin has a G, an I, and an N in it and so does selling price. Okay, because the only difference between these two formulas is what's on the bottom, what the profit is being expressed as a percentage of. So if you think margin has a G, I and N in it, and so does selling. Okay, so margin is to do with the selling price. And then all you have to remember is markup is the other one to do with cost price. Okay, moving on, let's have a look at an example. So a coffee machine has a cost price of 444 euro and 31 cent the markup is 17.5 percent calculate the selling price okay so in this one what i did was i said i wouldn't start with one where you just have to fill in the profit and the selling price and multiply by 100 because that's easy i said i'd do a harder example okay so let's see right we need to calculate the selling price and all we have at the moment is the cost price and the markup. Okay, so in order to calculate selling price, we need the profit. Okay, so before we can get selling price, we need to use this formula since we have the markup and the cost price to get the profit. So our markup is 17.5% and that's equal to the profit. I'm just going to say that's P because I don't know what it is over the cost price, which we're told in the question that is 444 euro and 31 cent and that's times 100 percent now in order to get rid of these percentages what we do is we divide both sides of this equation by 100 okay and um, again if we go back to the percentages in the vat video this is basically just turning this into a decimal so we can rearrange easily Right, so that will leave us with 0 0.175, that's 17% of the decimal, is equal to P over 444.31. Then 100 over 100 is just 1, so all we're left with is P over 444.31, because if we multiply that by 1, it just spits back out itself. All right, the last thing we need to do here is we need to rearrange to get P, the profit. Okay, so what I can do there is I'm going to multiply both sides by 444.31. Okay, because by doing that, these will cancel and 
I'm left with just the profit on this side. So that is 444.31 times 0 0.175 or 17.5% of the cost price. That is 77 euro and 75 cent. And that's equal to P, the profit. Okay, now we can get our selling price because our selling price is equal to our cost price, which we know is 444.31 plus our profit, which we just worked out. And that is 522.06. So that's the selling price. That's what the shop sold the coffee machine at in order to have a markup of 17.5%. The next thing they do is they, oh, they ask us to calculate the margin. Okay, so I'm going to put that over there for the minute. Calculate the margin. Okay, so we have the profit now and we have the selling price. Okay, so profit and selling price. So all we need to do then is just fill those into the formula for margin and then we'll get it. So the margin is equal to the profit which is, which we calculate to be 70, 77 euro and 75 cent, all over the selling price, which is 522.06 times 100%. Okay, and if you put that into the calculator, you get that the margin is 14.89%. Okay, so the margin is about 15%. Right, that's an example of how you just put the profit and the selling price into the formula. You put it into your calculator and it's as simple as that. Okay, let's have a look at a bit more of a difficult example. A, a bit more, a, nah, a more difficult example. Let's put it that way. Okay. So a sports shop buys bikes for 76 euro. Calculate the selling price of a bike if it is sold with a 28% markup, a 28% margin. Okay, so this first part is very much like what we just did. So we'll just fly through this. So the sports shop buys the bikes for 76 euro. So that means that the cost price for this first part, part one, the cost price is 76 euro. Okay, and we're told the markup is 28%, right? So we're going to use this formula for markup to get the profit. And then we'll use, we'll do the same again to get the selling price. So let's go quickly with this one, right? So 28% is equal to P. I don't know it yet. I'm going to find it times 100%. Okay, I'm going to convert to a decimal get rid of the percentages and define the profit. So that's 0 0.28 is equal to P over 76. Then I want to get the profit by itself. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 76. And we get that the profit, so when you multiply 76 by 0.28, we get that the profit is 21 euro and 28 cent. Oops. So that means our selling price is the profit plus the cost price. So 21.28 plus 76. So our selling price for part one is 97 euro and 28 cent. Okay, nothing too difficult there. Right. Now, the next bit is tricky. Well, not that it's tricky, but it can trip you up. So, the way the question is phrased is it's calculate the selling price of a bike if it is sold with a 28% markup and a 28% margin. If you're selling something, it cannot have the same markup as the same margin. Okay, because if we look at those formulas, as I said before, the only th difference between them is that underneath this one is the cost price and underneath this one is the selling price. OK, 
okay so these couldn't be the same unless you're not making a profit at all unless your cost price is the same as the selling price that is the only time that the margin and the markup can be the same and if that was true that would mean that the profit was zero and these would both just be zero does that make sense so in this second part you cannot use the profit you have calculated on the selling price or you cannot use the profit you have calculated or the selling price or, any, or the profit you've calculated to work out what the selling price is because the profit has changed because it's 28% margin, right? The markup and the margin cannot be the same. So the only thing that you can assume in this question is what you've already been told. And that is that your cost price, which I'm going to write as C, is equal to 76 euro and that your margin is 28 percent okay so let's have a look at this formula first so we've the margin actually i'll just write 28 percent that would make more sense 28 percent is equal to the profit over the selling price times 100 percent okay We'll work with this for a minute. So if we divide both sides by 100, convert that to decimal, we get that 0 0.28 is equal to the profit over the selling price. Okay, now the key to this is realizing that the selling price is equal to the cost price plus the profit. Because if we put that in for s so if we put c in c plus p in for s we know what c is we know that c the cost price is 76 euro so if we were to sub that into this equation here i'll do it in um i'll do it in purple so that you can see where it's going in so that's where it's going in there i've subbed it in here okay now, looking at that equation, that is much better because the only unknown here is the profit. And I can use my balancing method to just rearrange this equation and find the profit. And as you know from the previous examples, once we have the profit and the cost price, we can find the selling price. Okay, so this key step here, subbing this in, that's the key to these kind of ones where you're just given a cost price and a margin. Okay, let's continue on. All right, so, um, over 76 plus P. So I've just rewritten that line. So I need to rearrange to get P by itself. So I'm gonna get rid of this fraction by multiplying both sides by 76 plus P. I might need more paper actually. there we go okay so in doing that i've gotten rid of the bottom of the fraction there and now i just need to multiply this out so i have 76 times 0 0.28 so that is 21.28 plus 0 0.28 p so i've just multiplied 0.28 by p that's just equal to p now, the last thing I need to do is I need to get P by itself. So I'm going to take 0 0.28 P from both sides. So now that I've done this, boom, boom, and then that will leave me with 21.28 is equal to, so one minus 0.28, just to be certain, is equal to 0.72p, okay? Almost there, so the last thing we need to do to get the profit is we just need to divide both sides by 0.72. And that is giving me that the profit, 
when I divide 21.28 by 0 0.72, gives me that the prof profit is 29.56 euro. Okay, now we're back to our last step where we say, okay, selling price is cost price plus profit. My cost price, so C, was equal to 76 euro. My profit, I just worked out, was 29.56. So when I add those together, my selling price is, drum roll please, 105 euro and 56 cent. So that is your answer to part two. Okay, now with those ones where you're only given the margin, the cost price, it's subbing in this part that is key. Okay, and then once you've done that, all it is is a bit of rearranging. It looks messy at first, okay, but just keep going, keep dwindling it down until you get the profit by itself. Normally with markup and margin, what you need to do is you need to get the profit before you can get anything else.